Hi everyone, we are back again with OVAS Project Spotlight Series. And today we have a project which is related to mobile. We've been speaking about project related to web application security testing, web applications. And this project is equally important when we talk about testing around web apps or mobile apps. So OVASP, uh, OVASP MSTG, which is Mobile Security Testing Guide, which is a manual uh, for testing the security of mobile apps. When we started off with the OVASP uh, Spotlight series, we covered web testing guide. So this is like a, a manual for the mobile security testing. And it describes the technical processes for verifying the requirements which are listed uh, in the mobile application security verification standard. The MSTG uh, includes a list of test cases, each of which map to a requirement in the mobile ASVS or application security verification standard. While the requirements are high level and generic, uh, MSTG provides in-depth recommendation and testing procedures uh, on a per mobile operating system basis, or what you can say is as per mobile OS basis. So uh, this uh, topic or this spotlight series is gonna ask, answer a lot of questions uh, around what it is, how do you use it? Uh, even it contains uh, a lot of things around demos, which you can click in the uh, like uh, click in the uh, sections that are there. So I am going to show you where exactly you can uh, take the um, MSTG from or MSASVS from. Now, uh, one thing that is very important here is that when we talk about uh, this whole mobile security testing, we start with first what to test and that's when mobile application security verification standard helps and uh, uh, at the same time what test cases to test or how to test that's when mobile security testing guide comes into picture and and what we need to do is when we club them together that's where we find how exactly things can be executed or tests can be executed. So this has been done uh, for, se for, for several years. It's just that when people talk about mobile security testing or mobile application security testing, um, they have a cold feet. But when there are resources available, it is gonna help people, like uh, how exactly it can pick up. So let me share my screen and I'm gonna show you how exactly this can be used, where exactly we can use it, um, so let me share here. So from the standards to guide mobile application security verification standard, which are some kind of verifications which are listed over here. Okay, this, 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 we can do in a certain vulnerability. Then comes the next vulnerability. This, 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 this can be done. Similarly, testing guide goes in depth. Okay, what exactly is the vulnerability? How exactly you can test it? What are the things associated with it? And then there is a checklist which is available. Okay, you should do this, you should do this, and you should not do this. So all of this is there, which is gonna help us getting started with application security testing, or I would say mobile application security testing. So let's deep dive into MSV ASVS. So it's a verification standard, which defines the security requirements and applications for mobile apps. And it's actually uh, operating system agonistic, so which is really incredible portion. And uh, it's written in different languages, which is Chinese, French, German, Japanese, Korean, Russian, Spanish, apart from English. And then when we talk about MSVS, it has certain kind of checklist, which you can see here, uh, like there is a, 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 let's say, if it's for a network, so what exactly under network should be done? And then what is the level? Level one, two, three. So if you are at level, uh, so it actually starts with zero, then level one, two, three. And then it, it is basically fix, uh, flexible. So now when we talk about the level one, like zero is like basic. So first is where exactly you are thinking about it. You are starting it. You are talking about different levels. And that's where like L1, all mobile apps. L2, which is talk about specific apps, which could be health apps, game apps, or something else. And then uh, level two plus R is basically banking apps, which are more critical, more, uh, they need more resiliency against them. And how do we use it? So there are different requirements which are which needs to be baselined. And one more important thing that we always say, don't just blindly follow it. 
uh, check what exactly is the requirement, map it to your requirements and build your own requirements being based on top of what is there as part of the application security verification standard or MS MASVS. And then consistency, it actually provides a consistency with, with, uh, with different applications that we are going to test and uh, how we are gonna perform the test. And it also helps in doing the threat modeling. And when we are doing all of this, where exactly can we get it? We can get it via GitHub. There is a Git book available. There, there are different versions which are available and uh, you can download it and start using it. Apart from that, um, if I talk about releases, the current release is 1.2 and there are there'll be a future releases as well, which you just keep checking on. And when we talk about MSTG, which is Mobile Security Testing Guide, so what exactly it is? It is a complete manual. It's like the way I used to talk about web security testing guide, like it's a manual which actually helped me in growing in a web app security space. So this is like one another important um, guide which is really relevant. And it provides the, um, the overview around the code, around the dynamic analysis and where exactly you can uh, like pick up you can pick it up on GitHub, Gitbook, and there are releases available. You can just go ahead and use it. Now, when it comes to the hands-on, now you have to pick up this sheet and start using it as a hands-on. Now, another very important aspect that I want to showcase with you, like um, why would I just speak about or show you the URLs, but why don't show you exact thing? So go to ovas.org under projects, you will be able to find it. So, and, not just that, if you want to start a new project, you can start. But on this page, you can see mobile security testing guide is there. And then on GitHub, you can contribute. There are so many pull requests which are there. There, there could be, you might want to contribute to some code or some language change, you can help. Like, um, I would love to see MSTG in Hindi. So if somebody is there who knows Hindi, please do uh, help out or French or any other language, please do help out here. Now, another aspect which it provides is, uh, is basically uh, there are, uh, there's a huge information which is there. So you can pick up around uh, Android testing guide, iOS testing guide, and you can also pick up the Git book and you can check the releases which are, which are different releases which are there. And apart from that, ASVS is one thing which is listed here. So you can just go to OVAS MASVS and you can just pick it up and start using it. And it's there in different languages, which you can see. So uh, I'm always a big fan of checklists and ASVS is MASVS uh, is one great checklist, which always helps me when I am going for a mobile application security testing guide. So these are the resources which you can take a look at. And this is how you can contribute to uh, mobile application security testing. And I know there are so many people who want to contribute to these projects, these open source projects. So this is the way to go. Help in any way possible. Start with uh, helping in uh, grammar, helping in the language change, helping in the code change, helping in the uh, the actual addition to any, uh, any uh, test cases that you feel that is missed out and you want to add it to it. I am sure the leaders would be very happy to have you because it's all uh, volunteer driven and people would be really happy to have you as part of uh, MSTG project. And I know the leaders personally, they're incredible. They keep giving free trainings around mobile application security. So I am sure uh, you will learn a lot of things uh, while contributing to the open source projects. So tell, uh, let's uh, conclude here and uh, see you all in the next Spotlight series. Thank you so much.